So let's talk, if we could, over the weekend so far. We'll preview what the ANC are probably going to say later today. But when we talk about elections and political parties at the moment, we're all talking about uh, unemployment, COVID-19, and a number of other issues. Really, the only one that stood out for me, tell me if you agree, is the EFF and focusing big on uh, the land issue, especially uh, in Gauteng. What did you make of the weekend's manifestos? Well, thank you, Gabriel, for and good morning to your viewers. Thank you for the opportunity. <coughs> I think I normally say when it comes to this time, we are now in the period of the dangling uh, carrots. You know, um, political parties will come with all sorts of fables, you know, to try to win the vote. Um, over the weekend, we've seen, I think, like you said, the, the, the major one was the EFF one. You know, they came up with a, a lot of, 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 you know, robust uh, promises, so to speak. And if you look, I looked at it, and they did not deviate much from, from their 2016 uh, manifesto, which said land and jobs now. But now they just said land and jobs, Namshanje, Manje, which means um, now, today, you know. They are promising quite a lot, you know, and 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 some of it are, are, are questionable in a sense that one, they do not run the the machinery from from some of the tiers of the government. For example, if you talk about building RTP houses in in in, in, in Central, or if you talk about uh, nationalizing mines so that the mines are, are, are subsidizing municipalities, you know. That policy hasn't been adopted at national level. The issue of, of land expropriation without compensation hasn't even uh, uh, no, gone far in terms of national uh, level, uh, cascading into provincial level. How are you going to implement that at the municipal level? You know, that's where, for me, it, it says they need to further articulate how they're going to do that because they, they, that issue is not even under discussion as is. You know, the ruling party is, is flipping and flopping on that issue. So well, let's talk about the uh, ruling party no, for a second, Tamsan Khan. Let me ask you about the ruling party. The reason is we have visuals uh, now yeah. of the ANC uh, president, Silver Raposa, busy campaigning. We're expecting their manifesto uh, today. Are you hopeful we're going to hear something new, something more tangible that we can measure against in a few months' time? Or could this very well be a recital of the election manifesto we've seen over the past few years? Well, he also didn't give much in his preview last night. I mean, he was speaking about telling the, the candidates to say, you, we must tell the people that you're going to work with them, we're going to fight corruption, you know. And, you know, uh, for me, it, it says they are quite reactive to issues that are happening at, 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 the, at the ground level, you know. Um, they, if they're going to be talking about corruption and people are saying, what about electricity? Yes, he's... He's made corruption his trump card. He wants to fight corruption everywhere. But if people are expecting electricity. People are expecting water. What are you saying about those basic things? So it's either he's going to go out and say, we're going to fight corruption. We're going to try um, uh, and bring ethical governments, like he's saying. Or he's either he's also going to try to rehash some of the stuff. You know, I always say manifestos are like it's of people, you know, of uh, streets that are made out of streets and houses that are made out of chocolate. Mm, so mm. he's also, they are also likely going to make some promises. But he, um, from what he just gave us a sneak review of last night, he's not going to give us much other than. You but know, but people, government. people and ANC supporters, Tam Sankai, they want to hear about what the ANC president in his capacity as the ruling party mm. uh, president, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, they want to hear what, how he's going to clean up his own house. Employees have not been paid for months that work at Latuli House itself. Then we have the issue, of course, of all the uh, ANC uh, corrupt members who have either been suspended, told to step aside, they won't step aside, we all know that drama, uh, as well as factionalism within the party. We, we're used to hearing the president talk about fighting corruption, provide water, provide electricity, but I would imagine supporters want to hear, what are you going to do about your own house? Yes, supporters would want to do that, but he, I don't think they have a, a concrete, you know, narrative to say, in terms of fighting corruption, this is what we're going to do. Because he's been saying, I'm fighting corruption, but he's been just putting people on suspension. There's nothing been happening in terms of 
all of that. So there is not much, you know, to offer people other than saying fighting those two words, fighting corruption. There is nothing much that is going to offer and there's nothing much that the people have complained about. The people have complained about these councillors. The people have complained about the, 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 the rigging of the electoral system within the ANC, even the Mantal, the, Mantal, uh, the Mutlante report um, came up and said there is factionalism, there is infighting, there is corruption in terms of our election processes, you know, and nothing has been said of that. Mm -hmm. So it's just fighting corruption, you know, it, that's the, just the two ways, without details, without saying these are the consequences, this is where we, 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 we've implemented it, you know, and this is how we're going to go about doing it going forward. Well, I appreciate your time speaking to us. I'm sure we're going to speak again as we get closer and closer to the 1st okay, of November. The majority of the big political party manifestos are uh, done over the weekend. We're now awaiting the ANC's political uh, uh, manifesto and their election manifesto uh, expected to come out later today. My thanks to political analyst uh, Tamsangha Malinga joining us here on the South African Morning.